guys today i'm going to show you more example of restriction mapping and um endonucleus enzymes and how to answer the questions on those regards so the question is asking we have a restriction endonucleus enzyme known as smai um that has cut the plasmid in a three different fragments how large is that plasmid there are the possible plasmid map okay so what do we do We've been given an enzyme, three different fragments. Always start with drawing the largest fragment. Okay, so you have this fragment here. I mean, this plasmid here, sorry. Always draw with the largest plasmid because it's easiest. So, um, should be here, like measure it. So it's like 3,000, 1,000, 2,000. That gives you. 6,000 base pairs, it doesn't it? So it has to be 6,000 base pairs. 6,000 divided by two is 3,000. So half of this plasmid should be 3,000 in, okay? So 3,000 um, base pairs, um, SMAI, SMAI. Then we have what? We have um, two more fragments to do. Um, we have like um, one here and one there, right? So that's Base pairs and 1,000 base pairs. Okay, so very easy. You can also reverse it, like write it like that, orientate it in this fashion. Okay, if if it's asked you, if it's asked you like to write more than one configuration, you can also draw this. Right, you can um draw that. Right. 1,000 base pairs and 2,000 base pairs. Okay, and these are enzymes, right? Enzymes and enzymes. Okay, you can also draw this if it makes sense. Okay, you just, that's the same thing, but the research and mapping is different. You can also change this to, right? You can also change this to. But okay, next one is asking you if you have another enzyme known as HAND3, and these are end restriction endonucleus enzyme that has um, digested, meaning it has been added to that specifically plasmid containing solution. And um, it made us these two um, fragments. How many sites are there? There are possible plasmid maps. So it is a um, single thing, two more maps. You can already tell by now that um, there must be two sites because um, because there has been two fragments. One frag, one site only gives you one linearized plasma. So if it's two sites, it gives you two fragments, okay? So always start with the largest. So I'm gonna argue, draw it like that, okay? Base pairs. Okay. Does it make sense? We could also, for example, like draw it in a way that this cut, this cut, twenty one hundred, and the rest is thirty nine thousand base pairs. But you get. The um the idea is that you get the correct orientation. Like don't make this to be small thirty nine hundred and this twenty one hundred base pairs be this large. Okay, so it's really critical. It's really like a common common sense. Bigger fragments take up more plasma. Smaller one takes less plasma. Okay, now. Um, now it is asking these these two are example of what these two are example of is um, um, the res single restriction in the nucleus okay meaning only one enzyme has been cut has cut it. Um, the next one is asking you okay we have um, we have made a cut but it is giving us different five fragments 
but with two different enzymes, okay? So it's double digest now. All right, so if it's double digest, start with drawing your plasmid like that, okay? Draw your initial plasmid. What was your initial plasmid? The building block, like the one that you cut it with the SMAI. So what did we have? We had, let's go with this one, because you can go with two different frag figurations, but I'm just gonna show you this one, okay? So again, easy. Same AI, let me, S, M, A, I, S, M, A, I, let's be quick, what else, what else, what else, one, one there, right, um, S, M, A, I, okay, cool, so we've done that, now, Think of this and measure with this. How many, how can you put those new hints or introducing it to this that would allow you to make this, to match these two, okay? What do I mean by that? So here, you wanna make sure that you have produced this 3000 base pairs, so which, which, which one here can give you the, this 3,000 base pairs, right? Well, you can see the 3,000 base pairs can be formed with these two fragments, doesn't it? Because 1,200, 1,800 would add up to 3,000, okay? So, I'm going to make a cut of hint 3 here. Giving us, what, 1,200? 800 base pairs, okay. Cool. Now, um, we have, what well, so we done that and that. We are left with three different fragments: 900, 1,000, 1,100. Okay. Um, looking back at looking back at this, so we had this 1,000 base pairs here, right? What would give us? This 1,000 base pair. I mean, 1,000 base pairs. Even though we consider it to be a 2,100, you know what I mean. So you have to make, you have to match it. You have to match it if you want to do. So you can't just change the orientation of this plasmid with another that you didn't already previously written in these two questions. You have to design the plasmid in a way that matches these two. Okay. So, I would say that. Here, I'm going to say 1,000 base pairs, okay? Because it matches the 1,000 base pairs we already written there. Cool. Now, if you recall, we have another 2,100. So, which one of 1,000 can add up to give us this 2,100? Well, if you look carefully, we can see 1,100 can add to this one, giving us 2,100, doesn't it? So, I'm going to make... Um, good hindsight here yeah hindsight here okay that giving us this um 1100 base pairs okay so now we form this 2100 right didn't we we form this 2100 now we need to form, lastly, what fragment are we left? So we only left with 900 base pairs. So 900 base pairs can give us, okay, does it make sense? So we produce this two hint size there. We produce this 1800 one there. So this ones give us 3000 base pairs, which matches that and we can already form this 1000 base pairs which matches that and um, we form what else we form 1100 1100 base pairs that totally um, matches this one as well so if you can see for example this one gives you 2100 that matches this one doesn't it so this is 2100 this is 2100 it's SMA side, two hint sites, and this rest gives you 
3900 base pairs, okay? These 3900 base pairs and 3100 base pairs. So it's cool. This is how you're gonna do it. So if you decided to go with this configuration, you have to change a bit of, play with some of these fragments in a way that would match this, okay? So the next one is asking you it's about gel electrophoresis. How would you see, observe these fragments if you expose them to the gel electrophoresis, okay? So it is, um, some may ask you, because if you read, if you want to show that you got the right plasmid after you exclude with this endonucleus, and the nucleus ends up, you have to see a specific separate fragments of viewing for each site. For example, let's let's go with that one. So here, what did we say? We said three different sites, didn't we? We say 3,000, 1,000, 2,000. So let's draw that. We said um, 1,000. What was the next one? Was 2,000, two, two wasn't it? It was 2,000. The other one was um, 3,000, wasn't it? Yeah, 3,000. So I don't know why this is gone, but this is 3,000. Okay, so if you now if you're a scientist guy, you see, okay, these are three different fragments matching the expected cut. So then you say, okay, tick. Okay, tick, because makes sense. Next one, you, only two fragments. 20, what is it, 20, 2100 and 3900. So it's very really easy, like, like that. Okay. And same theory as the previous one. Um, 900, 1100, 1200, 1800. So you're gonna find that as well. Um, it's a bit tough. So 900. 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, and lastly, 1,800, right? So, something like here, right? So, it's if you like assign this, guy, okay, I see these fragments, that's a tick, right? Because it matches my expected theoretical fragment size, so tick, and tick. Now lastly is asking you about the southern hybrid hybridization. It is asking you um, that if you expose it to a specifically purpose, so you're looking to observe this specific fragment only. Okay, so if you want to specifically find this fragment, you design a specifically probe that is uh, fluorescent and that would glow if it's is under 2000 base pairs. So 2000 base pairs is this one, okay? So, so what you do with this is, it is easy. So for example, if it's 2000 base pairs here, it would glow a green, right? It would go to indicate that, okay, you obtained that 2000 base pairs. So for the first one, which is only SMA eyesight, we said what? 2000 base pairs here. The next one is 2100, isn't it? Um, because where you can see is this 2000 base pairs in, in this one. On here, doesn't it? So you can already observe this 2000 base pairs if you look at it in a more scaled way. It would like form something like here, doesn't it? So, does it make sense? So you are observing in both 2100 and 39,000. 3900. You're seeing that specifically fragment of 2000 base pairs. So, I'm going to go. And um, lastly, you, you want to you find that 2000 base pairs on this area. So, where do you find the 2000 base pairs on this area? Same spot here, doesn't it? So you can, for example, find it here, down to here. So 900, 1100, right? 900, 1100. And 
100. So I hope it was helpful, guys. Please ask medication if you have, if you are on the comment section. Thank you.